Hello everyone and welcome back to DIY Fun Ventures. With tax season approaching and crypto market going wild, may many people are buying and selling crypto without realizing that every time you sell a coin, it's considered a taxable event. This means you may need to pay taxes depending on whether you've gained or lost during your transactions. To keep track of crypto transactions, I use Coin Tracker. During tax season, I use it to calculate my gains and losses and then upload that information directly to TurboTax. Coin Tracker can automatically import data from many exchanges and wallets. However, if you're using Robinhood, the process is a bit different. You'll need to either manually create a CSV file to upload your transactions or add them one by one in Coin Tracker. In today's video, I'll show you how to upload your Robinhood transactions in Coin Tracker. I'll assume you've already set up your Coin Tracker uh, account and maybe even imported some transactions from other exchanges. Now you're trying to add your Robinhood transactions and aren't sure where to start. Don't worry, I got you covered. Here is an example of a uh, uh, coin tracker portfolio that I have created uh, just uh, for the purpose of this video. On the right side, you will see an option that says Add Wallet. Click on that and you will see multiple different wallets and exchanges available to you. By selecting those, some of them will give you an option to automatically load the information and some of them will ask for a CSV. So for the purpose of this video, I'm adding Robinhood, Robinhood Exchange. I'm going to name that Robinhood Exchange 2 because I've already made another one to mess around with. I don't want it to mess, uh, I don't want to mix uh, the, the CSVs or the information that I'm uploading. So we're going to say Robin Exchange or Robin Exchange 2. And then we're going to click on select a CSV. And we're going to download the CSV that we have created. Let's not rush yet. I want to show you the rest of the information in here. In here, you should click on Coin Tracker CSV article. And that will take you here. Let me open it up. There you go. How to convert your transaction history into Coin Tracker compatible CSV format. There's a lot of information in here that explains how, how you need to do this. Um, you should go through this and read it. Uh, it is important that your date and time format are done correctly. And you want to make sure all your transactions have correct date and time on them. So make sure you collect all that information from your Robinhood account. Now, um, we, we learned what we need to do. Then we also clicked on the CSV template and we received this Excel sheet, which is empty. It comes usually empty. I've been filling it up manually because that's what you're going to have to do. Of course, all this information in here is fake. I'm just adding this information for purposes of the video. I wish I had all this much crypto. But anyway, so you will get this empty Excel sheet. The only thing they will have is this top portion, the date, received quantity, received currency, sent quantity, sent currency, fee amounts, fee currency, and tag. Okay. We are going to go to a Robinhood account. We're going to select a crypto that we've been buying and selling for our example it will be XRP you will navigate to your your XRP's history and in there you will get all your transactions you are going to have to click on each one of your transactions open them up and put that information from here onto your Excel sheet how much you paid for it the date the time how much um, how many coins you received so for example we're going to say we received uh, 
XRP December 3rd, 2024. We received 1,400 received currency XRP. We sent uh, a cent, we paid, which means we paid 3,000 currency USD. There was no fee, so we're leaving all of this empty, right? Then we're going to say, um, let's say uh, an there was another transaction on, uh, uh, let's say, 11, 3, 2024. We're going to say we got um, 200. XRP, we paid thousand dollars in USD. There was no fee, and then we also sold, let's say, twelve to twenty twenty four. We sold XRP. So in this case, you're going to say. Uh, received 3,000 USD after selling, let's say that 1,000 XRP, right? And uh, let's say there was a fee of $2 in USD. Okay, so this is all fake information I'm adding, but all of that information can be found if you click on each and every one of your transactions uh, and and you, ha you have all that information in here. The date it happened, the time it happened, the time is also important, and, uh, and how much, of course, you uh, received or you sold. So all that information is is needed and it has to be correctly filled out. So we're going to save this CSV now, right? And then now we're going to select our CSV that we just saved. It is going to validate the file. If you make a mistake in your dates or you're missing some information, it will tell you. Then you will click on import. So here we go. As we see, it created our uh, exchange. And uh, it says that we have two different type of coins in there. If we click on the actual transactions, we can see the transactions that we had in our Excel sheet. For example, for XRP, we said that on uh, December 3rd, December 3rd, we bought uh, 1,400 XRP, received 1,400 XRP. We spent $3,000, $3,000. And there was no fee and a value of $3,000, right? Then we're saying that we sold uh here i don't know how it decides how to do this maybe by the dates or something i don't know but anyway so we sold right on our over here it says we sold three thousand sorry we sold thousand xrp sent so we sent or sold thousand xrp we got three thousand dollars usd and there was a two dollar fee so here it is, right? Uh, we sold 1,000 XRP. Uh, we received $3,000. There was a $2 fee. And our gains are $1,998. So this is how you upload all your transactions from Robinhood onto Coinbase. Hopefully, uh, you don't have thousands of transactions because you would have to fill out this sheet one at a time by clicking again on your each of, each and every one of your transactions on Robinhood. 
Un unfortunately, Robinhood doesn't provide the CSV for the X for the for the crypto, so you have to do this manually. Now let's remove this wallet one more time, and I want to show you guys uh, what happens if you make a mistake while you're filling out your uh, your CSV if you miss some information right so let's uh, remove all the XRPs from here uh, delete delete and then we're gonna say that let's say we on um, on um, uh, Robin Hood we actually sold four thousand one hundred dollars wait a minute yeah, it, yeah this should be usd and we sold zero point zero five btc and uh, we also have 0 0.2 BTC. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's save this. Add wallet. Robinhood. Robinhood 2. Select CSV. Import. All right, so we imported our transactions from Robinhood. It says that we bought $10,000 worth of uh, BTC sometimes. Yeah, and this is okay. But then uh, it also says that we sold 0 0.05 BTC uh, for f and we got $41,000 for it. So we gained, we have a $40,000 gain. But then it also says needs a review. And it says, hey, I don't know cost basis of this transaction because it doesn't know where this money came from. There is no, you know, uh, there is no actual transaction uh, that precedes this transaction. So we must have missed something in a CSV. We must have missed a transaction to show Coin Tracker where we got uh, this Bitcoin from to sell it. You see, it doesn't know that we purchased Bitcoin uh, or it doesn't know where the Bitcoin came from. So it wants us to tell it. So I'm going to go and check on Robinhood and I'm going to realize, oh my goodness, I missed the transaction from Toro where I sent, uh, I sent Bitcoin to myself, right? If we go to our wallets, I have a Toro wallet here, also a fake one. But in this Toro wallet, we see transactions where I purchased um, Bitcoin twice for $40,000, right? And then I sent that Bitcoin or half of that Bitcoin, 0 0.5 BTC, I sent it out somewhere, right? But coin uh, and it shows that I... I lost thirty-seven thousand dollars, right? Minus thirty-seven thousand gains because it doesn't it doesn't know what's happening at this point. So um, we're going back to our wallets. We're going to select our Robinhood exchange. We're going to look at our transactions history on Robinhood. I can't show anything because there is no real transactions. This is all fake transactions. But what we're gonna do is now manually add a transaction that we missed. So we're going to say add transaction and it's going to be incoming asset 
BTC it's 0 0.05 BTC that I sent and we're going to say to Robitoot Exchange 2 and we're going to uh, look at the date that we sent that uh, uh, the, the date of the transactions from eToro, right? So I'm gonna save this transaction for now because I need to confirm that eToro transaction, the date. So let's go here and, and we send it on uh, April 7th, 12 o'clock. So April 7th. So we go back to our transactions again, or we go to our wallets, we go to our Robinhood exchange, we go to these transactions, and we change the April 7th. April 7th, and it was 12.00, zero, zero, I think. And now, it fixed itself now. Doing all of the adjustments, calculations. It deleted the wrong input and it created a brand new one. So now when we go back to our wallets, we can see that in a in a Robinhood two exchanges now, if we look at our Bitcoin transactions, it shows that there was a transfer from eToro to Robinhood and then the rest of the transactions show up. So hopefully this wasn't too complicated and uh, at the end lose you guys halfway through but that's how you add transactions from Robinhood to your coin tracker portfolio and also do manual adjustments to your transactions i hope this makes sense and if it does please go ahead and hit that like button and of course subscribe for future videos like this thank you and have a good day bye bye